well, what a game. <laughs> a really lethargic game there by the Black Stars. There is now a scenario where Ghana might not go into AFCON 2023. Yeah, the Ghana Black Stars, after that goalless draw with one shot on target, are facing possible non-participation in the next African Cup of Nations. This is not the result we all wanted. With the introduction of Chris Huting as the head coach of the Ghana Black Stars, most of us were optimistic that things will change. We'll be discussing the player ratings today. We'll also look at the performance in general and look at the scenario in the group and what Ghana needs to do in their final game in September versus Central African Republic. Remember, we drew away from home with them 1-1 after taking the lead with Kudus Mohammed. And uh, now uh, we are having to draw again and possibly win. We might not win this group. It's also a possibility. We'll look at the scenario. We'll look at the player ratings and look at what needs to be done. As usual, subscribe. If you have not, click on the notification bell to get more updates. Jump right into it and first talk about what Ghana needs to do. As it stands now, this is what the table looks like. Ghana have nine points on the board, leading the pack with just a point. After that win yesterday by Angola, they are currently with eight points, seven points for Central African Republic. They can still qualify for AFCON if they do win their game versus us in September. So they will be highly motivated here when they play the Ghana Black Stars in Ghana. Uh, Angola themselves will have the task of qualifying with just a draw. A draw will be enough for Angola to qualify, as will a draw be for Ghana. The mathematics and the calculations have started once again. We didn't think we would have to do that in an AFCON qualifying campaign, but here we are. I'll say we jump right into the player ratings, and uh, I was disappointed uh, with the starting 11. I did not expect Kudus Mohammed to be out. It's probably an injury concern, which I hope the coach would clarify when he is interviewed post match. But Kudus was not in the starting 11, and uh, it was not a great outing uh, for the team in general. They lacked creativity. And it showed. Lawrence Atizigi had very little to do until the latter stages of the game. The threat was not there from obviously Madagascar, who are out of possible qualification into Afcon. Atizigi had an uh, off field day. He did not really get involved in play that much, and uh, he did not have to do anything until I think uh, the latter stages of the game when he saved a free kick was called into action. Two saves he made in the latter stages that were on target. Ghana had only one shot on target in this game. It was unfortunate. Patrick Bozo at left back did not impress me at all. I was expecting much more from uh, the man who was making his debut for the Ghana Black Stars. Bozo uh, let me down a bit. Uh, has did the whole team with this lethargic performance. In the center of defense, Joseph Edu and Daniel Amate it was expected. I thought Kasim would come in, but Edu was giving the nod. Both of them um, a bit slow. That is what I'll have to comment on. I think their performance was slow and tiring. As they have come from a long season, it's expected. But you expect also that... Uh, the match sharpness will be there for someone like Amate, who has not played a lot of games uh, for Leicester City in this unfortunate campaign where they have been relegated. It's expected, but Edu has been in action and uh, he did not show that he has been playing frequently. I was disappointed with their slowness at the back and uh, tracking back at times, they were a bit slow to get back. Not the best of defensive organizations at the back, too, as well. At right back was Dennis Odoy, and uh, I think uh, fairly okay for me. I think Dennis Odoy was not also threatened that much. We have to say the threat from Madagascar was almost non-existent. They did not punish Ghana when there were defensive lapses, and Odoy was not really bothered. Salis Abdo Samed, not his best of games in the Ghana Black Stars jersey. He has had better days in Black Stars jersey, and uh, today was not one of them. Salis. And Thomas Party, he threatened a bit. I think Ghana's first shot on target from the free kick was from Thomas Party. He threatened with set pieces, uh, but it was nothing much there. Osman Bukhari, I think, came on and could have done better with Thomas Party's pass. 
but he also wanted to take a touch too many and that cost us that opportunity there in the second half thomas party i think he was the most threatening black stars player andre are you started surprisingly for me and i think he didn't need to last the entirety of the game he got to some point where he was a bit tired as well that has been my problem with andre are you I don't expect him to start all games. If he doesn't start, he should come on as a substitute later on and his experience will come to bear. But I think he was kept on the pitch for far too long by coach Chris Hilting. Hilting should have not played Andre for that entirety of the game. He had a head injury, a bleeding on his eyelids or something, I think. I don't think he should have lasted that long. Jordan, are you also was in here and uh, jordan attracting uh, the fouls and getting us uh, crosses almost getting onto the head header his brother almost getting onto the header there and uh, it was really really not a good team performance all around jordan are you i think should have been on the pitch andre should have been replaced earlier uh, but good chris Hutton had had ideas and this is becoming a current theme for most of the ghana black stars coaches late substitutions poor starting 11 it makes me wonder if anything at all can change in this black star setup i was hugely disappointed considering the fact that we did get off to the best possible start in this qualification campaign by beating madagascar 3-0 and uh, this time it was uh, a palpable unfortunate disappointing performance uh, from the ghana black stars was a pain so i was expecting a bit more from him after his blistering season i expected him to translate it to this form here for the ghana black stars but joseph paint so also uh, was not at it he was not at his best <laughs> poor showing on the wings his shots were off target his runs were not electrifying as they were for his club side really really it was a disappointing one i have to say i was looking at him uh, to be the difference at least inject some pace inject some creativity but with no kudus mohammed in the starting lineup it was all lacking and joseph paint so was not there kamaldin suleiman also had his moments a shot on target in the first half well off target but a shot nonetheless uh, but kamaldin as has been the case not clinical in the final third it was an all-round poor showing a coaching problem playing problem what was the issue for you today coach chris Hutting disappointed me with his starting 11 Probably, I don't think the IU brothers should have both started. Why hasn't Ransford Yebwa Konekstofa uh, come in to play for the Ghana Black Stars? He was not even allowed to play as a substitute. What is happening with the national team? Why are players who have been tried and tested and not done well still being persistently started? It was really a baffling question to me. A question I hope Coach Chris can answer. We have it all to do. We have to play Central African Republic can win or draw before we qualify. A win for Central African Republic will also get them to AFCON. There's a scenario where Ghana does not qualify. Let me know what you think in the comments box. What do you think will happen on September when we play our final game versus Central African Republic? I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your rest of your week.